Township beating Lunenburg three to two. High School Softball on Frontier Community Access Television. Today's game, the Frontier Red Hawks play host to the Athol Red Raiders. Hi again, everyone. This is Chris Collins along with Tom Aber, and our studio producer on site is Megan Self. And the Frontier Red Hawks coming in here after a good start to the season. They've come in on the following hard times. Back-to-back -back losses to Greenfield and Turner. It was a big loss last night in Powertown. But Tom, they're going to try to right the ship as they take me? on the Athol Raiders. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have a great game today. Um, uh, and Athol's looking good. And now Frontier, they had a rough couple of games against Greenfield and Turner last night. But um, we'll see if they come out strong today. Last night's game was built as a showdown of two of the stronger teams in the league. And uh, it started out that way, but uh, we're not for uh, Jade Tyler, who uh, hit a grand slam and wreaked havoc on Athol. The uh, um, from here, the Red Raiders or the uh, Red Hawks rather send Ashley Taylor to the mound. She's in the circle as we get going here from South Deerfield on another warm and gorgeous day for softball. Pitch one to one is a ball on the outside corner. One and zero. Oh. And that's a strike. One ball, one strike. <laughs> Ooh! And that is going to uh, the hit on the helmet of the bat. Oh, that's a hit by hit batter, so the leadoff hitter for Athol is on after being hit on the top of the helmet by a pitched ball. Yeah, good thing they wear helmets nowadays. Yeah, no kidding. So that fellow has a runner at first. And Taylor steps in. Ball one outside. Fouled off. One and one the count. Taylor, one, and Taylor hit Ledemackie with the second pitch. So two pitches and two hit batters. So Athol has two runners aboard, courtesy of two bean balls. Yeah, maybe if you're the Frontier coach, go talk to your uh, pitcher there. It's very rare to see two hitters, hitters hit by pitches to start a game. And the batter will be the pitcher for Athol the blank. So the blank digs in with two runners on. Strike on the inside corner, nothing in one. No threat to steal, it looks like, Tom. Looks like that ball is sticking close to their bases. Ball outside. Hey, 
Ground ball is short. They go to third for the force. And that's all we'll get. So Polana is forced at third. Yeah, it looks like the runner didn't really uh, on second base. She didn't. Uh, she maybe thought it was like a line, dri line drive. Maybe got caught, but she wasn't really running. And that brings up the right fielder, 40. Again, runners and first and second, one out. The runner at first is LeBlanc, and Buddy Mackey at second. Ball in the dirt, 1 0. Feels like midsummer here, even though it's not. Got Josh here, Alec here, pop up. Over our way. Not right near us, and out of play, just out of play. So that'll even the count one ball, one strike. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a little out of breath from uh, running three four hundreds uh, at track practice today, so it's definitely a hot one. Yeah, I can imagine that would be, <laughs> be unpleasant. Line drive to right center field. That's going to get to the wall. That's going to bring in at least one run. And they'll cut it off at second, so runners at second and third. It is a double for Fort. And Letamaki scores. It's one nothing Athol. Great way to start the game if you're Athol. <laughs> Now, uh, Mr. Dean's out there and talk to his, his team. The better is uh, Benef Beneforst, I think, is the out. The third baseman for Athol coming up. So one out, one nothing. That was a great stop by the catcher, C.C. Green, for Frontier S to stop that uh, runner third base from maybe scoring. 1-0. and oh. Swing and a miss. Evens the count. One ball, one strike. I apologize if we have any misspellings or mispronunciations in these names. These lineup cards are hard to read. Fouled off. Two strikes now to count to the third baseman for Athol. Bascalupo is on deck. Low in the dirt, two balls, two strikes. Must have been easier than running without a mask today, even though it's warmer. Yeah, running track practice without masks really helps. <laughs> now the count is now full. Three balls, two strikes. Can one out, two on, one nothing. Athol. Athol's first two uh, hitters got on after being hit by pitches. Ground ball is short, and they're going to throw home. Oh. And the runner is going to make it safe at home as the catcher dropped the ball. Green just could not hang on to the ball. Otherwise, that would have been an out. So the blank scores. It's 2 0 Athol. And Benefort is on with a fielder's choice. And Fort moves over to third. So that was the right play to go to home. Yeah. Just couldn't quite squeeze the, the, the mitt. Yeah, I think uh, they would have had him at home if she caught the ball or, you know, held on to it. One out, two on, two nothing, Athol. Bascalupo is the hitter. 
Ball in the dirt. Good scoop by Green. Foul pop. Green will catch it for the second. That's a big out for Frontier. Yeah, that was a great catch by uh, CC Green. Heads up play there. And the batter will be Coochie, the second baseman, I believe is the pronunciation. Strike at the knees. 0 and 1. High for a ball, one ball, one strike. Why would it not be working? Foul back, two strikes now the count. Change up, blocked by Green, but it goes to the bench and coming in to score will be Fort to make it three nothing. And that moves up Bascalupo, or excuse me, Benefort rather, to second base. So it's three nothing Athol. Big first inning for the Raiders. Fouled off. <laughs> Ground ball to third, and the play will be to first, and that will retire the side. But Athol does some damage, and at the end of a half an inning, it's Athol 3, Frontier coming up. This is Red Hawk Softball on Frontier Community Access Television. Financial support for FCAT sports coverage provided by Attorney Daniel F. Graves. If you need legal help, call Daniel Graves today at 773-8706. He is also Deerfield's current town moderator. Cheslick's Market. Great lunch specials, sandwiches, baked goods, and homemade meals. Right next to the Common in South Deerfield. Gilmore and Farrow Insurance. Burnston Road, Greenfield. Your trusted choice for personal and commercial insurance. 413-773-3686. Attorney Leah M. Phillips, 22 Mohawk Trail, Greenfield. Your go-to lawyer for all your legal services. Learn more at www.lphillipslaw.com. So the blank is on the mound for Athol. And Olivia Dean steps in as the leadoff hitter for Frontier. It'll be Dean, CC Green, Charlotte Duret, the hitters in this top of the first for Frontier. Followed by Lucia Duret, Joe Apinel, Ashley Taylor. So then Upton Ball coming back this way. Amanda. And Chloe Cutting is the center fielder. She bats ninth. And Amanda. Can is it Canapa? Canapa? Amanda Canapa is the eighth hitter. Well, a little too close for comfort there. Ground ball to third. Hits the bag. I'm going to say it was a foul ball. So it just crossed the line before it hit the bag. Otherwise, that's a fair ball. Two strikes now to Olivia Dean. Ground ball, the pitcher. And Dean grounds out one to three. One down for CC Green, the catcher. On deck is Charlotte Duvet. Low 
for a ball. 1 0. Back to the pitcher again. So two ground outs to the pitcher. One to three, two down for Charlotte Duette. <laughs> so Athol taking care of business defensively is the greatest pitcher is. Frontier's got the timing down, just hasn't been able to put it outside the infield. If Charlotte gets on, Lucia will be the hitter. Strike at the letters, 0 and 1. High for a ball. Not at the same spot, but that's the ball. One and one the count. Swing and a miss. One and two. up short right field and that's going to fall in for a hit so Charlotte gets a fly ball hit for Frontier and they have their first runner and their first hit and the batter is Lucia Dulette when she gets on Julian Apino will be the hitter Swing and a miss, strike one. Right at the knees. But she was thinking the fences on that one. The blank has good uh, good tempo on her pitches. Dulet leads off first. Ground ball, the second. Over to first, and Lucia Dulet grounds out four to three, and the runner is stranded. He played one inning from South Deerfield at the end of one, half all three. Frontier nothing. This is Red Hawk softball in Frontier Team. So that's how it comes up with a 3 nothing lead. And it'll be Kenneth, Kenneth Swam and Polana, the three for Athol. Taylor in the circle and the pitch. Low for a ball. Down ball to third. Duet over to first to Apinel. 5 3. The put out and the batter is swam. The left fielder. Go ahead. And a bunt down the third baseline. Grabbed up and thrown to first. 5-3 again, so two quick outs. And the batter will be Polana, who was hit by a pitch to start this game. Yeah, Frontier now kind of more looking to their, uh, looking like themselves, um, like they usually do. One ball, no strikes. Ground ball, back to the pitcher. Taylor finally fields it, throws to first in a 1 2 3 inning. Much needed for Frontier. We played one and a half. Still 3 0 Athol. This is Red Hawk Softball on Frontier Community Access Television. It'll be Appenel, Taylor, and Upton, the three hitters for Frontier in this second inning. We trailed up 3 0. Frontier has one hit in this game. Yeah, 
Yeah, Frontier's also missing some of their key players. Um, I think that's had a huge effect on them the past couple nights. Happen in the place first for Frontier. Was a starting pitcher last night in the loss to Turners. I'm going to get the picture of Cuban Kelday for the on the first. Low for a ball, 1-0. for a ball. Two balls, no strikes to Jill. Three and oh. So, wrapping away ahead in the count. Yeah, she'll probably uh, take a pitch here. We'll see. Unless she gets a green light. The blank's going to have to come in with a strike here. Inside corner. Three balls and one strike. Inside corner. Same spot. Good pitch. The count now is full to Julian Appinel, three and two. Uh, swing and a miss, strike three. So after going down three and O, oh, Appinel strikes out. And the batter will be Taylor. I guess that might have been ball four. Yeah. Foul ball for Taylor, 0-1. Hop up, short left field. And they make the catch. Two gone. Two down, two down. And it'll be Savannah Upton, the hitter for Frontier. Savannah batting from the left-hand side. Strike at the knees. Nothing in one. We gotta watch out for the foul balls over here. <laughs> one and one the count. Ground ball to third, scooped up in the throw to first. And it gets by the first baseman. Upton will go into second with on an error. So that should have been a five to three, so we'll call it an error on the third baseman. Upton is at second, and the batter is uh, Amanda Canepa. Amanda Canepa. I'm on the person on second. And if she gets on, Chloe Cutting is on deck. See if there's a two out rally brewing for Frontier. Ball low in the dirt, good stop by the catcher. He upped him from advancing. Ground ball to first, and first baseman will take it to retire the side. We play two, and it's still 3-0 Athol. This is Red Hawk Softball on Frontier Community Access Television. It will be Ledebacki, LeBlanc, and Fort. The hitters, the two, three, and four hitters for Athol 
all three of those uh, hitters ended up scoring runs in that big first inning. It's 3-0 Athol. Taylor in the circle as the Hawks try to right the ship after losing two straight to Greenfield and Turners. Down ball to the middle, base hit. So Lenimack is the board with a single. And that'll bring up LeBlanc, who scored last uh, first in the first inning, Reese on a fielder's choice. Lindsay LeBlanc. Ball one low. Ball in the dirt, skips past the catcher, and Lenimaki will go into second base. Okay. Yes, now Athol has something going here. Strike at the letters. Swing and a miss. Two strikes now to LeBlanc. Ground ball up the middle for a base hit. But Immaculate will hold it third as the throw comes into green. And LeBlanc takes second. So two more runners in the scoring position on a single. On, Lex. And Lexi Fort will be the better. Then if Ford is on deck, if Ford gets on. Strike, uh, the ball low rather, 1-0. Oh. Looked pretty good. Yeah, maybe cut the outside corner. Ooh, fly ball to left field. Off the wall. That's going to play two more runs. As Len Mackey and the blank come to score, it's an RBI single for Fort. And that makes it five to nothing. That was an absolute uh, moon shot. They're lucky that didn't go out. It did miss going out by about three feet. It caught the fence in the air. And the batter will be Ben Fort. Foul ball. <laughs> I don't know where it was. What in doubt, duck. <laughs> for a ball. Outside for a ball. Foul back again. Great way to stay alive there in this uh, battle. Jenna Benefort digging in. He's got two strikes on her. Just inside. Swing and a miss. So Benefort down strikes. It's a big out. First one of the inning for Frontier. And that brings up Bascalupo. Fly out to the catcher. 
And she shows bunt, fouls it off. Athlete playing with a one-out small ball there. Emma Bascalupo. Just inside. One ball, one strike. <laughs> Swing and a miss. One and two. Ground ball to short. Double play ball. They get to force it second. <laughs> so Vasquez is aboard on the fielder's choice. Benefort is retired. Two gone. Good play there by Olivia Dean to get the lead runner. Swing and a miss. Two strikes on Kuchi. Right, Attack it. Ooh, foul tip. Caught green in the mask. Oh, and two now to count. Ball foul. <laughs> Almost caught the coach. <laughs> yeah, he got out of the way there. Ground ball to first. And Appenel stabs it and touches the bag to retire the side. So if Appenel get two, gets two more. And at the end of two and a half, it's at all five, Frontier Nothing. This is Red Hawk Softball on Frontier Community Access Television. So Chloe Cutting, Olivia Dean, and CC Green, the batters for Frontier to start this bottom of the third. Frontier has to dig a hole out of a hole. They're trailing five nothing right now. Lynn LeBlanc in the circle for Athol. Swing and a miss, strike one. Yeah. One and one, one the count. Swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Two cutting. Swing and a miss. Cutting is down on strikes. And that's the second strikeout for Cutting. For uh, LeBlanc. And the batter is Olivia Dean. Foul tip by Liv. Nothing in one. Ground ball back to the pitcher. And just like she did the first time up, Dean grounds out to the pitcher one to three. Two down for CeCe Green, who also grounded out to the pitcher her first time up. 
You also got to think that uh, Frontier with the back-to-back -back games of the game last night, too, is definitely affecting them today. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I was afraid of that, Espe you know, especially, you know, all that emotion going into that game against Turner's, you know, ba battle of two power teams, and then they lose, and they got to come back and turn around and play the next day in less than 24 hours. That's not easy to do. Yeah, and Athol is also a pretty good team, too. Right. And they got this pitcher who's going to be probably an all-league selection as well. Green steps in, the pitch from the blank, ground ball, up the middle, base hit. So CeCe is on board for her first hit of the game. And that sets it up for Charlotte Dulette, who reached on the only hit of the game so far until just then for Frontier single. And if she gets on, Sister Lucia will be up. Green at first, two down. The blank steps up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Bunt. Good bunt down. And plays the first. And the ball gets dropped by the first baseman. So the lets the board. Green goes to third. And the batter will be Lucia Dulette. The Frontier a chance to make something happen here with two outs. Kind of surprising to see a two out bunt, but it worked. Yeah. It's definitely an interesting play there. <laughs> and it worked out for him. So Green is at third, Dulette's at first, and that's Charlotte at first, and Lucia Dulette, who grounded out to second her first time up. If she gets on, Appenel will be the hitter. Yeah, and Lucia's a powerhouse hitter for Frontier. Foul back. Batting in the cleanup spot again. Blank winds and fires low for a ball. Charlotte takes off the second. And yep. Uncontested. So runners at second and third in the scoring position for Lucia Dulette. Well, the table is set for Dulette. In the dirt for a ball. Two and one the count. Good hitters count here. Ground ball to third from her knees for the first. And again, she's safe. And run scores. So Green comes in to score. The Frontier is on the board. And that throw came from the knees of the third baseman. It was on the line, but again, couldn't squeeze it at first. Well, the batter is going to be Jillian Appenell. Still two on and two out. But Frontier has a run across. Strike. And Lucia takes off there in the second. Standing up to... So the duets are on second and third. Appenell struck out her first time up. Would love to get a hold of one here. High and outside. High for a ball. Yeah, and Frontier's bench and finally looking alive over there. Definitely rowdy. Pop up, first base side, and caught by the first baseman, and that ends the rally. But Frontier gets their first run of the game.
the end of three, it's the AFL 5 Frontier 1. This is Red Hawk Softball on Frontier Community Access Television. Sam Keneff steps in. It'll be Keneff, Swan, and Polana, the hitters for Athol. And Swan hit by a pitch. So Swan's aboard. It's the third batter hit by a pitch today. Or Keneff, rather. And Swan is now on deck. Steps in. She's a lefty batter. So Keneff is on board after being hit. Ground ball to third. Going to play it to first. So Swan is retired at first, five to three, and Kenneth moves up to second. One down, and the batter will be Riley Polana. Hit by a pitch to start the game and grounded out to first, or sort of pitcher rather, her second time up. So she is looking for her first hit of the game. Ground ball to the pitcher again. Going to first. One down, throw to third, not in time. So, Kenneth advances to third. Polana grounds out 1-3 again. Two down, and the batter is Sadie Letamaki, the catcher. Letamaki was hit by a pitch. And singled, and she scored two runs for Athol. Two of the five Athol runs. Yeah, the ball in the dirt. Nice stop by Green. Two quick outs there by uh, Frontier. Um, but the runner at third, so they got to get this last one to hold them from scoring that uh, last one. Fly ball, right field, gone! Line shot, home run, a two run blast. That makes it seven to one. No doubt about that one, as that was just torched. Yeah, that one was crushed there. To right it. field, straight right field. And so Athol puts two more up to make it seven to one. And the batter will be Lynn LeBlanc. So Sadie Vodemacki, the catcher, with two run bomb. And it looks like they'll be uh taking Ashley Taylor out of the game. Yeah, that'll do it for Taylor. It looks like they're going to bring in, I'm not sure who would, number eight. Oh, no, it looks like it might be Olivia Dean, maybe? I think it's Dean. Yeah, I think so. Yep, Liv Dean will now be the new pitcher for the Frontier Redhawks as that closes the book on Taylor. Now it's seven to one. It is seven to one. That foul has never trailed in this one, and that one was just a no doubter. Yeah, as soon as it left the bat, it was gone. <laughs> we'll see if Dean can. Stop the bleeding here a little bit and give Frontier a chance to get back in this one. It's top of the fourth. Frontier's got nine more outs to make something happen here. Tough outing for Taylor. I think she pitched pretty well, but Athol's bats were just hot today. Yeah, and then in that first inning, two, uh, right off the bat, two hitters. Well, that created that first inning hole, which led to the first three inning of the first three runs. Beyond that, I thought she was okay. Yeah, she she pitched pretty well. Um, but as you mentioned, this is the team that's a little dinged up, a little bit tired, maybe. Go up against an Athol team that is pretty good. Yeah. And also, it's a pretty hot day. <laughs> yeah, well, there's that, too. One thing is, though, that there's we don't have to wear masks. Yeah, that's a good thing. I don't ever complain about that, but we'll see how long that lasts, by the way. But Lynn LeBlanc, the pitcher, steps in. LeBlanc singled. Reached on a field of choice the first two times up, and she scored two runs for the Raiders. 
excuse me, for the Bears. I call them the Raiders. They're the NFL Bears. <laughs> My apologies. Check swing, fly ball to the left, and put away for the out to retire the side. Good play there by uh, Lucia Duet in left field. So we played three and a half from South Deerfield at the end of three and a half. It is at the seven, Frontier One. This is Red Hawk Softball and Frontier Community Access Television. Bottom of the fourth, Frontier in a hole, seven to one. Quick defensive change. Riley Polana for Athol is now playing first base. And the new right fielder is Abby Kerwin for the Bears. And it's CeCe Green, no, excuse me, Clay Cutting, stepping in. Strike low. I'm sorry, this is Ashley Taylor, excuse me. Taylor is in. I believe she's playing shortstop now. She was pitching as of until the last part of the inning. Taylor Upton and Canapa uh, next. Canapa can can is next. Ash flat out to left field her first time up. Pop up. On the left field grass. And a catch me. So Taylor flies out. The shortstop. And the batter will be Upton. Who reached on a throwing error. For the first time up. Got as far as second. You ready? Oh, yeah. Lefty over here. <laughs> Strike on the outside corner. Nothing in one. Ground ball back to the pitcher again. Over to first. That's the, the fourth time Frontier has grounded out to the pitcher. One to three. Uh, two outs for Kanapa, who grounded out to the pitcher. The first time up. We had, a, we had a new hitter here. Ground ball was short. Bobbled. And so she is on. Number eight for Frontier. We'll get that name in a second. Michaela Santos. Yeah. Michaela Santos. So Michaela Santos into the game. And now batting, I think, is uh, Delaney Feefield. So Delaney Feefield is in there. Another pinch hitter. For cutting. Delaney grounds it up the middle, base hit. Santos stays at second. So Delaney Fifield is aboard. And now they throw the ball around. And both runners are going to advance on a throwing error. So Fifield is in at second. And Santos is in at third. So Michaela Santos and Lenny Fifield getting a spark to the Frontier Redhawks as Olivia Dean steps in. She's the new pitcher. Santos at third and Fifield is at second. Pop up. New Ross behind first base. And the loser in the sun now. Could not quite get a squeeze on it. That's a strike. Low in the dirt. This fight field aggressively scampers off second. Wow, 
Line drive. Base hit to right center field. Santos is in. Fifield is in. A two out. Two RBI single for Dean. And that makes it seven to three. Yeah, that was a phenomenal hit right up the middle for Olivia Dean. See if Frontier can keep it going. The batter is CC Green, the catcher. Ground ball, foul. Actually bounced off the plate. Nothing in one. Ground ball, back to the pitcher. Bravo, they try to go to his first. It's overthrown. It. And it's out of play. Puts our camera guy. Both runners move up. So throwing air on the pitcher. So two more runners in scoring position for a frontier. And the batter will be Big Charlotte Dulette. We've sent an error last time up. And single her first time up. It looks like the umpire is clarifying what, what happened there. If you really grab in a second, she should go home. It's two things. Yeah. I don't know about that. She was, she was running from first. But if she ran it third before the ball went out of play. Yeah, well, that's, that's the question right now is whether or not Dean deserves to score because she was rounding third apparently when the throw went errant and hit Josh. It looks like I think she's going to be staying there at third. So Dean at third, Green at second, and Charlotte Dulette with one swing of the bat could make this game very interesting as the Red Ox now trail seven to three. She makes it. Lucia Dulette is on deck. Ball high outside. We have first base open. Swing in the dirt. One and one. A little breeze blowing in from looks like the South. Charlotte bunted on last time with the bat. With two outs. Yeah. Which is unusual. But it worked. Gamble worked. See if she can do something here. This is a big at bat for Frontier. Strike in the inside corner. Two strikes now on Charlotte Dulette. <laughs> Front two's bench making a ton of noise. Line drive. That's how they went after Alec Echo. He fields it nicely. <laughs> Alec is a softball pro himself. <laughs> Not an issue for him. <laughs> Great way to protect there, protect the plate for Charlotte. Yeah. Live ball, deep right field, way back, way back, off the wall. Dean's gonna score, Green's gonna score. Duret in its second with a double. And it is seven to five. Frontier with two big runs. That one was about a like foot off the wall. Foot from going over. Again, very close to being a three run homer. But it's two big runs and suddenly the lead's been cut to two. The tying run is at the plate in the person of Lucia Dulette. Yeah. 
Swing and a miss. And Charlotte takes out the third. Charlotte takes third, and she is safe at third with the stolen base. Yeah, great heads up play there. As they weren't paying attention. It didn't seem like they were. So Charlotte Duet takes a, a free bag there. She's now at third. We'll see a reach on the throwing error last time up and ground out to second. So she's over for two and two. Line drive right at the first baseman. So the out there retires aside. Oh, she got every bit of that one. Yeah, that was a great play. But Frontier gets two more runs. And at the end of four, it's Athol Bears seven, Frontier Red Hawks five. This is Red Hawks Softball on Frontier Community Access Television. We are at the top of the fifth, and the Frontier Red Hawks have clawed their way back into this one. They trail the Bears seven to five. Chris Collins and Tom Albert here with our friends Josh and Alec and the, the producer on site here is Megan Self. Olivia Dean in the circle for the Frontier Red Hawks and Lynn Fort at the plate for Athol. High for the ball. Well, then that'll be a double the last time up. Foul back. That one was off the shed. <laughs> Just inside. Just missed. Oh, back again. Another one off the shed. <laughs> Ford actually moved from right to center field in that last uh, defensive switch for Ethel. Swing and a miss. Strikeout for Olivia Dean, her first K of the game in relief. And the batter will be Jenna Benefort. Struck out her last time up. Ball one. Pop up. And Dean will put it away for the second out. That'll bring up Emma Bascalupo with two down. If she reaches, it'll be Kuchi, the hitter for Athol. Round ball foul. Base hit up the middle. So Bascalupo is aboard with a two out single. And Chris Cucci will be the hitter, second baseman. Grounded out to third and lined out to second. Now, excuse me, went uh, Line drive, they sit up the middle, so two consecutive hits. As Crystal's on board, Vasquez moves up to second. And the batter will be Sam Kenneth. And so Athol may have something brewing here with two outs. Kenneth got hit by a pitcher last time up, grounded out to third, and she has scored a run. 
this game. Actually, I apologize. That's Abby Kerwin who's up right now. Abby Kerwin who came in for Kenneth. Well, this is Kerwin's first rap. She is the right fielder now for Athol. Round ball to second. Over to first. And Kerwin is out. Four to three. That retires the side. And we go to the bottom half of the sixth. It is Athol 7, Frontier 5. This is Red Hawk Softball and Frontier Community Access Television. I actually misspoke before. It's the bottom of the fifth inning coming up, and it'll be Jillian Appenell, Ashley Taylor, and Savannah Upton. The batters for Frontier trailing 7 5. Appenell pops it up, foul. Nothing in one. Sun has made a return after a brief respite. High and inside, enough uh, one ball, one strike. Round ball to third, and throw to first, and she is out. So Appenall's retired five to three. And the battle will be Ashley Taylor, who flat out to short and flat out to left the first two times up. There's some country for you, Tom. <laughs> Ground ball back to who else? The pitcher. Over to first. And Taylor is down one to three, two gone, and the battle will be Savannah Upton, who grounds out to the pitcher her last time up. Yeah, what a ground out to the pitcher this game. It's definitely interesting. Yeah. Well, it, that means the timing is there on the pitches. It's just whenever you see a ball hit right back to the pitcher, that means the hitter's timing was dead on. It just didn't drive it. Foul back, nothing in one. See if Savannah can get something going with two outs here. Ground ball to second. And for the first, so that's the up to retire the side. So a one, two, three inning for the Athol Bears. Now we go to the sixth. Athol still leads seven to five. This is Red Hawk Softball on Frontier Community Access Television. And we have, it looks like, uh, Cassidy Swan, Riley Polana, and Sadie Venomacki, the three hitters for Athol here on the top of the sixth. Athol looking to hang on to that 7-5 lead, but Frontier, despite that 1-2-3 inning, has been pretty good the last couple innings offensively. Ball low. 1-0 to At Cassidy Swan. She's grounded up the third twice in this game. Strike on the outside corner, one ball, one strike. Olivia Dean in, on, on in relief for Frontier. Yeah, she's one of uh, Frontier's seniors, and she's... Pop up, out of play. Two strikes. She good she's a good weapon there for Frontier, one of their pitching. Funny thing is, my wife sometimes watches some of these broadcasts of various sports. And she, <laughs> she says, I always hear Olivia Dean's name. That's because Olivia Dean's an effective athlete in everything she plays. Strike on the outside corner. Carl looking. So Swan is down on strikes. And the batter is going to be Rowdy Polana, who is now the first base person for the Athol Bears. Low for the ball. Go 
Low for a ball again. Two balls, no strikes. To Polano, who was grounded out twice to the pitcher and was hit by a pitch to start the game. One of three half out batters hit by pitches. That hit that she got spurred that big run. First, first inning rally. It started up with a 3 nothing lead for Alfal. Ball in the dirt. See if Athol can get something going here. It's one out. Strike on the outside corner. Foul tip. Clunk the umpire. I think he might have got a piece of green, too. Yeah, I think it went off the top of her. First off her glove, then off her headpiece. That was the part I never got used to when I was catching, was getting hit with balls, foul tips in the face. Yeah, I, I, I played uh, every position except for catcher. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason they call catching gear the tools of ignorance. <laughs> Line drive, base hit up the middle. So Polano's on with her first hit of the game. And the batter will be Sadie Letimacki, who parked a two-run homer the last time up. A no-doubter in the right field. She scored three runs in this game. If she gets on, LeBlanc will be the hitter. Letimacki had a frozen rope to right to gear off all what is now their margin of a lead. Ground ball up the middle, base hit, first pitch swinging. So Letimacki's aboard. Polano moves up to second. And the batter is LeBlanc. As the Bears look to cushion that lead, if at all possible, with one out. Front needs a good double play grounder here. Low for the ball. Yeah, and Athol's had a lot of hits right up the middle in this game. Well, definitely both teams have picked up the timing of the pitchers. LeBlanc has single when it reached the fielder's choice, and she has scored two runs. Ground ball base hit to left, and that will load the bases. So three straight singles. Chucks the bases for Athol and sets the table for the cleanup hitter, Lynn Fort. Well, she'd be Lexi for it. Now they're going to talk it over. Well, this is a dangerous situation. One out, the play will be with the play to hit on the infield if at all possible. Yeah, maybe they'll put the corners in. See what they do. Well, this is a big, this is a big uh, exchange here because with a two-run lead, you know, a home run could put it out of reach. But the infield is going to have to be very, very tight defensively. If anything on the ground, they've got to go to the plate and keep Polana from scoring. Yeah, they got to keep anything from getting through on the infield. Well, in a second, we should remind you it's going to be a busy few weeks here for Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be on the road a lot. We've got a Frontier graduation coming up on June 4th. We have town meetings in Conway, Deerfield, Sunderland, and Waitley. First two weeks of June. Of course, we have more sports, so get ready to strap in. It's going to be a, a crazy start to the summer, and then everything will quiet down, hopefully. So Lynn Fort digs in. Lexi Fort, rather, digs in. And first pitch is in the dirt. Green's able to keep it in front of her, though. And uh, I think she flew out last. She struck out last time, and she had a two, a double. Double. And, uh, and she scored a run. High and outside. Two balls, no strikes. The late Red Barber would call this sitting in the catbird seat up in the count with bases loaded. Strike.
Strike on the inside Ooh. corner, very low. I think uh, Dean got one that time. Yeah, I think she definitely got lucky. Two and one to count for Lexi. Jenna Benefort is the on deck hitter. And field is in. Three and one now to count. Yeah, so we'll see if she gets a green light or not here. Definitely a good hitter's count though. In the dirt goes to the backstop. And it doesn't matter, it's a ball four, so a lot of scores. That makes it eight to five. Everybody moves up. And the batter will be Jenna Benefort. Again, one out. Bases are loaded. Swing and a miss, strike one. So FL leads Frontier 8-5, to five, still three on. One out. Bascalupo will get on. It will be up if Benefort, Benefort reaches. Pop up, foul. Just over Alex's head. <laughs> Actually wasn't that close to Alec. I just want to make him feel like he was in danger. Alec Eckel. The hardest head in local access television. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Alec tore up in his leg playing softball the other night, but still came to work. <laughs> Gotta love that. Ball low in the dirt. Green's able to scoop it. Walks the runner back. Again, we're in the top of the sixth. Now, if I leads 8-5, and they are threatening to blow it open here. Brown ball to third. Nice play, stabbed. They go home for the out. And so that's two outs. So it goes five to two on the out. Fielder's choice. So there's two gone. Bases are still loaded. And the batter will be Emma Bascalupo. It's a good play by Duet at third to go straight home. And get the force at the plate. So now the play will be any base. We're going to have a courtesy runner, I think, coming in here for Athol. This Benefort will sit. Another uh, Kenneth. Maddie Kenneth. And Kenneth is the courtesy owner? Yep. Bascalupa singled and got to second her last time up. She also popped out to the catcher and reached on a fielder's choice. So Frontier would be very lucky to get out of here with only one run. Yeah, easiest base here. Frontier. Ball one in the dirt. Again, good job by CC to keep that ball in front of her. Yeah, she's been doing a great job protecting the plate there. Catching those ones in the dirt all night. Swing and a miss. I mean, got it. I think that foul tipped. One and one. Ball low. Two balls, one strike. It's now, now a good hitter's count here. If you're at all. Cap out seat again, this time for Bascalupo. Fouled at the plate. That evens the count, two balls, two strikes. Again, two out, top of the sixth. That foul leads eight, five, looking to extend here. 
the base is loaded. Line ground ball up the middle for a base hit. One run will score. And that is all as they get it back in. Dean cuts it off. And it's nine to five. And Wedemacki scores. Good job by Frontier to get that ball in and prevent a second run from scoring. So it's nine to five. And the battle is Kusi, that's a foul off. Line drive foul. Now Keckle fields it, throws it back to the first baseman. So I think that's uh, two strikes on her. And a ground ball to second. Taken up, go to first. And that retires the side. But Athol gets two more, and we go to the bottom of the sixth. Athol 9, Frontier 5. This is Red Ox Softball on Frontier Community Access Television. Financial support for FCAT sports coverage provided by Attorney Daniel F. Graves. If you need legal help, call Daniel Graves today at 773-8706. He is also Deerfield's current town moderator. Cheslick's Market. Great lunch specials, sandwiches, baked goods, and homemade meals. Right next to the Common in South Deerfield. Gilmore and Farrow Insurance. Burniston Road, Greenfield. Your trusted choice for personal and commercial insurance. 413-773-3686. Attorney Leah M. Phillips. 22 Mohawk Trail, Greenfield. Your go-to lawyer for all your legal services. Learn more at www.lphillipslaw.com. Play by play for this last inning and a half. We go to our good friend Tom Albert. Yeah, so I think uh, Michaela Santos, she'll uh, lead off the inning for Frontier. Frontier. Good. Uh, and Frontier really needs to get something going as they don't have much time left in this game. Well, Santos and Fife were late, uh, late uh, substitutions, and they got things going the last big rally they had, so we'll see if it happens again. Hi. So the count's one and now. See the dust coming off the mitt when the ball hits it. It must be really dry out there. Swing and looks like that one will be foul. Hit up to the left the field sideline. So now the count's uh, one and one. Frontier's bench still being rowdy, as they have in the past couple innings. That one's fouled out of play. So now she's got to protect with a one and two count. And struck out, but Dropped by the catcher and she's tagged. Yeah, that one was in the dirt. That was not a great pitch, but Santos, I mean, felt like she get a piece of it. So that is an out on a strikeout. And now up to bat, you have uh, number 15, Delaney Freefield. Freefield. See if she can get something going for Frontier. Um, 
She had that head last time she was at the bat. She scored a run as well last time up. No one's fly ball to right field. Run will stay fair and no one will catch it. So great hit there by uh, Delaney Fifield. Yeah, that was just a, a, a short pop up with the eyes. Yeah, good blooper. Now up to bat, you have uh, number nine, Olivia Dean. She has uh, an RBI, two RBI single. Shows a bunt. Drops the ball there and a great, great steal there by uh, Delaney Fifield. Dean was showing bunt and throw just got there but wasn't what it held on to. So Fifield's in scoring position. Counts 0 and 1. See if uh, Dean. Sounds fouled off. Live versus live here. <laughs> yeah. Battle of the pitchers. So the count's now 0 and 2. She fouled that last one off. Good hit. It'll be caught. Dropped though by the second base. Delaney takes off the third. She's going to be out. I thought caught a rundown. Yeah. Pickle. And she'll be called out. So the coach, the Frontier, kind of questioning the play. Well, Delaney took off for third on the pop-up, which was kind of an unusual move. And the pop-up got dropped with an error on the second baseman. Delaney could have just stayed there. But she thought she could beat the throw and got caught in a rundown. Dean's at second. So a bit of a squander there for Frontier. And now I think the umps are going to talk about it. The argument is whether or not the third baseman for Athol didn't drop the ball when Fifield slid in. <coughs> See if she's. Yep. As the call stands, she'll. Uh, Called out there at third. Well, that's potentially big because instead of having two on, you've got one on and two out, and Dean is the Green is the batter, and you've only got four outs left to make up a four-run deficit. So that uh, that could be big. And, uh, now up to bat, you have CC Green, uh, the catcher for Frontier, and. Um, Counts one and zero. Oh. Nice hit up the middle. That one's gonna bounce off the wall. She'll take out the second. Olivia Dean will score. Great first pitch right off the bat um, by CC Green. And makes the score nine to six <coughs> with Charlotte Duet. Coming up, she scored the double her last time up. See if Charlotte Dulac can get something going here. And waiting on deck is her sister, Lucia Dulac. That CC Green was halfway to third on that lead. Yeah, and she's got speed on the speed on the bases. This counts one and zero. Big swing and a miss. 
Charlotte like to have that one back. That was a little low, but she thought she had a beat on it. So now the uh, count's one and one. And Charlotte calls time. Strike two there. Another swing and a miss. I'm off the same spot as the last one. Yeah, I know. Shot's got to dig in here. And now the count's uh, one and two. Great hit up the middle. Look to the center field. CC Green will score. And a good RBI single for Charlotte Dulette. That makes it 9 7. That means that the tying run is at the plate in the person of Lucia Dulette. Yeah, we'll see if uh, what Lucia could do here. Foul ball okay. over here. Out of play. Now the count's uh, on one after that uh, pop up. It's definitely an interesting situation we have here. Tying run being at the plate. Two outs. A little low. So now count's even with uh, one and one. Frontier's bench still keeping up that noise. And that one's outside. So now uh, good hitters count, two and one. Ooh. A nice cut there uh, by Lucia. Oh, she wanted that one. So now the count's even again, twos. Two and two. And strike three, but she takes off the first, and they drop the ball, so she reaches first, and Charlotte will take off the third, and she's lucky on that one. Wow, that's big. So Charlotte's a third. It was a technically a strikeout for Lucia, but she reaches on the throwing error. And so the lead run is at the plate in the person of Jillian Appenell. So this is big if you're Frontier here. As now the tying run is on first base. You'd have to think that uh, Lucia's going to steal here at some point. So then only four out is at first. And you have a man at third and second. So counts uh, 1 0. Now 2 0. Well, that just shows you why you run out everything because she could easily have stopped and let the air stuff get tagged, but she took off at first. And you never know what's going to happen in that throw. Good swing there. Athos had some challenges at first, squeezing the ball. And that time, it paid off for Frontier. That may very well may make up for the decision by Fightfield to try and get to third on that error. Yeah, we'll, uh, now we'll see if oh, another good swing in the miss. Lucia takes off the second, though. There we go. Now the only force out is at first. In a minute, the tying runs now at second. And now, let's see. 
Foul tip, staying alive now. Had to swing at that, that was too good of a pitch. Yeah. Count two and two. So Jalen Appenau really got to protect here. This is a big at bat for Frontier. A huge pitch for Athol. Away. So now I think you have a full count. Three, two. Oh, strike three. Big strikeout to end the inning and end the rally. So we played six in Deerfield. We'll go to the top of the seventh. Athol claiming to a 9-7 lead. This is Red Hawk Softball on Frontier Community Access Television. We go to the top of the seventh, and Athol will come to the plate. And this is uh, the first base person, Cohen. So now the uh, Counts 0 and 1 at the, after that uh, foul tip. I think they hit off the batter. So Olivia Dean pitches. And he gets through third base legs. And that's Sam Kennick who's on with her first hit of the game. Yeah, so there's a hard hit grounder to uh, third base. On, couldn't make the play. Cassidy Swan now steps in. So now the count's uh, on one. She, now she's ready after seeing that first strike. That one's in the dirt. Try the pickoff play. See if Cassidy can get something going here for Athol. So now the count's one and two. For that. Foul tip. That one's a little low. So now the count's even. Two and two. Great way to protect the bat there. Um, and now, count still two and two. Good, but now the count's full. Maybe just outside on that pitch. Another foul tip. Be aggressive, kid. Be aggressive. No, um, count's still full count, three and two. You want to swing at anything close. If it's not good, leave it. So a long pitch of battle. <laughs> yeah. Right 
wonder if they're worried about any pitch count or not. There we go. So she'll take her base, and she wins that battle. So uh, now the batty, the, the batter, <laughs> the batter is uh, number 15, Riley Polana, top of the order. Top of the order. Another lefty for Athol. Man on second and first. No outs. Olivia. There we go. Now the count is uh, 0 and 1. Ground it back to the pitcher. But no play. Just tipped off the glove. Once now, again, bases are loaded. And now the bases are juiced for uh, number 25, Sadie Lenemacki. She had the two run homer earlier in the game to break it open. Yeah, so you got to get a hold of one here. Yeah. Nobody out, by the way. Yeah, and you got to be careful pitching to her. For Olivia Dean. Counts uh own one. Olivia. It's a long fly ball, center field. Delaney Fiedler makes the catch. It looks like they're not going to tag, though. So I think maybe a mental error there. Well, they got lucky, Frontier did, on that one, because that was deep enough for a sacrifice. For whatever reason, Cam Kenneth didn't tag up and run. <coughs> so now you have the batter, uh, number four, Lindsey. Le Blank, the pitcher. Blank. Great pitch there by uh, Olivia Dean. Now the count's 0 1. Two straight strikes. It's now it's 0 and 2. That one's a line drive. That one's going to hit off the wall. Two runs will score. Great hit there by. Um, LeBlanc. Um, well, insurance there for Athol. That makes it 11 to 7. So now the batter is uh, Lexi Fort. Lexi Fort. It's one out. It's a pop up. Looks like it will go out of play, though. So now the bases are loaded again for Rathal. Now up to bat you have uh, number 23, Krista, Jenna Benefort. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 
One out. Bases are still loaded. Another line drive. That one's caught though by uh, Savannah Upton. That's the second out. Now two outs, and now the batter's uh, Emma Bascalupo. Bascalupo. So two outs, bases loaded. Let's see if uh, Olivia can get her uh, team out of this. Just two runs of a damage. Count 0 and 1. Big swing and a miss. Even the count. 1 and 1. Olivia with the wind up. Oof. That one. Great stop there by CC Green. As that one was high, ran right away. So now the counts two and one. Good hitters count for Emma. Ooh, what a catch there by Olivia Dean! Straight back to her, and that will end up the end the top of the seventh. And that'll go to the bottom of the seventh. Last licks for Frontier. As they trail 11 to 7, this is Red Hawk Softball on Frontier Community Access Television. Financial support for FCAT Sports Coverage provided by Attorney Daniel F. Graves. If you need legal help, call Daniel Graves today at 773-8706. He is also Deerfield's current town moderator. Cheslick's Market. Great lunch specials, sandwiches, baked goods, and homemade meals right next to the common in South here. Gilmore and Farrell Insurance, Burniston Road, Greenfield. Your trusted choice for personal and commercial insurance. 413-773-3686. Attorney Leah M. Phillips, 22 Mohawk Trail, Greenfield. Your go-to lawyer for all your legal services. Learn more at www.lphillipslaw.com. We go to the bottom of the seventh, and it looks like they're going to leave the AFL ace in there. Lindsay LeBlanc. Yep, she's pitched a great game, and they're going to show she can finish it out. Frontier has to get five runs to win before the tie and send it to extras. Yeah, they had uh, something brewing, and they were cut short, though, in the last inning. Yeah, they've had one, one big inning so far. We've got them close, but... Uh, We'll see what they can do here. They've got uh, Taylor, Upton, and Santos, the hitters, for Frontier. It's kind of the bottom of the order there. Uh, we'll see if they can get something going. We'll see if they end up giving uh, Lindsay the hook here if Frontier starts to put some people on. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know how deep they are in terms of pitching for a closer, but... So he's showing much, many signs of slowing down at all. Yeah. That one's away, so the count's on, or one and out. That one, that one's high, and now it's, uh, counts two and out. I think you may have changed it, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see. I don't know. If, I haven't seen anybody warming up for Apple on the bullpen, so. Frontiers bench staying loud. Collins. Hit towards us. Hit the fence, though. It's going to hit it out before it hits us. <laughs> and now the uh, count's two and one. Good hitters count here. 
Ooh, good pitch. Now the count's even two with twos, two and two. So the blank lines up. Ooh, <laughs> just missed. It's just outside, I think. Full count. I don't think the blank liked that very much. But sure, she had her. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> oh, and Taylor was on the way to first, and they caught on the inside corner. Wow. Dude, that last pitch was more of a strike than that one was. Yeah, maybe a makeup call. I don't know, but one down. <laughs> so now the batter is uh, number six, Savannah Upton. <laughs> That was a good uh, foul down the line. Count's 0 and 1. Just two outs remaining in this game. Unless Frontier can get something going here. Blink blues there, and now the uh, counts 0 and 2. Well, she's pinned the corners all day very, very well. It's some of these pitches that she's made are not pitches that you would necessarily swing at in any situation. Good way to protect there. Yeah, and she's pitched phenomenal for Athol. Well, she's definitely a race. I mean, it's as good as advertised, and I thought it's not a bad team. They've got pretty good defense. They're relatively young. They've got mostly juniors out there. So they're going to be around for a while. Yes, Frontier has a couple of older seniors and a few younger kids. It's another count's uh, even, two and two. Spanish still got to protect here. Ordinarily, seven runs would be enough for Frontier to win most games. But today, Athol's been a little bit better in terms of the offense. Yeah, and I think they uh, they jumped on Ashley Taylor pretty early. Well, those two hit, hit batters didn't help to start the game. They kind of got the ball flowing downhill. And one is uh, low, so now you have a full count, three and two. Still swinging on anything close. Point delivers. Now it is low. So Upton will take her base. One out. Man on first now. Now up to bat, you have number eight, Michaela Santos. She also has a hit on the night. I think her last at bat she struck out. Yep. That one's low, in a way. So Michaela taking the lead in the count. One and zero. Frontier's bench has not let up on that noise. <laughs> the catcher there trying to... Try to frame that one a little yeah. bit. She's been trying to do that a bit. Counts uh, two and zero. Oh. Kayla's got to wait for hers. Blank delivers. That was a bit high for her to swing at. Yeah, swung at the high cheese. Oh God! Don't don't go Dennis Eckersley on me. Whatever you do. <laughs> so what cheese references? Low. So now the count's 
three and one. She she's either gonna take a pitch here or uh, she'll get the green light. I'm gonna guess that she uh, takes a pitch. Lexi right there in the top of the order for Frontier. And she gets a green light though. And they'll step on second. Get the lead runner there. So a grounder up to shortstop. Uh, and now Delaney Feefield and Frontier's down to the last out. So uh, Frontier really needs a two out rally here in the bottom of the seventh. Kayla takes off the second as the catcher wants to hold the ball. So counts one and now. Delaney, of course, the eighth grade sensation for Frontier. And she has uh, two hits on the night. Blink delivers. Michaela will take off the third. We got two stolen bases there. On, Lynch, you got this. Matter of uh, two pitches. So on the counts two now. The blank just flipped the ball into a mitt. A little frustrated. Delaney's gonna wait for hers. Oh, just low. That one's blowing away. So now 3-0 count. She had the green light and it's hit up. Second base couldn't get it. So uh, Michaela Santos will score and Delaney Fairfield will uh, reach first on a great hit. That makes the score 11 to 8. So we aren't done yet. At the top of the order, Olivia Dean comes up. Yeah, and Olivia has had two hits on the night, a couple of RBIs. Let's see if she can. Keep Frontier alive. She comes out swinging. It's grounded back to the pitcher, and they will get the last out. How appropriate that they ground out to the pitcher to end the game, as that's happened like five or six times in this game. And that is the out that retires the side and ends the game. So Frontier drops their third straight as they lose to the FR Red Raiders at home by a score of 11 to 8. And that'll do it for our coverage of Frontier Regional School Softball, my broadcast partner. Excellent job again, my friend. Thank you. <laughs> Tom Albert with, uh, here with Alec Echo, Josh, and we have uh, our on-site producer is Megan Self, and, of course, the executive producer of Frontier Regional Sports is Kevin Murphy. I'm Chris Collins, the final score for the final time. Alpha defeats Frontier 11-8. So long from South Deerfield.